Hi, I'm Callie Griffin. And I'm Lindsay Poindexter. And we will be co-hosting this week's video announcements. This week, high school will be running on exam schedules, so it'll be a little bit different. All those times will be posted on mobile web. <laughs> we will also be doing a little bit of Christmas special features this week, so we hope you'll stick around and watch. On Monday the 19th, high school is participating in the 12 days of Christmas. Monday's theme is It's Not Christmas Without Cookies, and the staff will be giving out cookies, and we hope you will enjoy. The junior and I will also be going to the Family Life Center at First Baptist Church in Abilene. We hope everyone has fun. On Tuesday the 20th, third and fifth grade will be having robotics class from 3.30 to 5 at South Elementary. Buckaroo Basketball is having their home district opener against the Comanche Indians. Also, the Lady Bucks will be going up against the Comanche Lady Indians. All the times will be to my right. The 12 Days of Christmas theme is Christmas PJs, so everyone make sure to wear your best Christmas PJs. On Wednesday the 21st, the junior high and high school will both be having their six weeks awards assembly. Times will be to my right. There is also an early release for the entire school district at 1. As always, please check the mobile web for updates and changes. Since we're going into the holiday season, we thought it would be fun to do a little bit of fact and trivia over Christmas. Many of us have done a prank that almost went too far. Well, nine days before Christmas in 1965, two astronauts aboard the Gemini 6 told Mission Control they saw an unidentified flying object about to enter Earth's atmosphere, traveling in a polar orbit from north to south. Just as things got tense, they broke out in a song, uh, Jingle Bells, with uh, Wally Shira playing a harmonica and Tom Stratford shaking a handful of small sleigh bells. Many will even go to claim that this was one of the first songs ever played in space. Well, Santa must be an astronaut. Well, did you know that children who write to Santa Claus here in the U.S. have a good chance of getting a reply? In the United States, campaigns such as Operation Santa have been running for decades, with hundreds of volunteers around the country responsible for replying to letters from children addressed to Santa Claus. This allows children who write to Santa to get a response from Old St. Nick. Well, have you wrote your letter to Santa yet? I have. Well, that's good because Santa's an astronaut. <laughs> Did you know Christmas decorating sends nearly 15,000 people to the ER? If you've ever watched Clark Griswold's decorating his house in Christmas Vacation, that stat likely doesn't shock you. In fact, Consumer Product Safety Commission estimates that 14,700 people visit the hospital emergency room each November and December from holiday-related decorating accidents. Who knew Christmas decorating could be that dangerous? Hey, Lindsay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Noah. Noah who? Noah good Christmas joke? <laughs> what do you get when you cross a snowman with a vampire? Oh, I don't know. Frostbite? Oh my gosh. What does Santa suffer from if he gets stuck in the chimney? I don't know. Claustrophobia. <laughs> what is it called when a snowman has a temper tantrum? No. A meltdown. Oh my goodness. What reindeer games do reindeers play at sleepovers? I don't know. Tag? Nope. Truth or deer. <laughs> What's every else favorite type of music? Pop? Rap. Oh my gosh. What's the absolute best Christmas present? A car? A broken drum. You can't beat it. What's the difference between the Christmas alphabet and the ordinary alphabet? Oh dear, I don't know. The Christmas alphabet has no L. <sighs> Who is never hungry at Christmas? I don't know. The turkey. He's always stuffed. Which of Santa's friends is the most chill? The Easter Bunny? Jack Frost. Oh my gosh. What's Santa's favorite kind of candy? Uh, Snickers? Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> How much did Santa pay for his sleigh? It has to be a lot. Nothing. It was on the house. <sighs> what did the Christmas tree go to the dentist for? What? A root canal. <laughs> we hope everyone has a great Christmas break and a happy new year. And we'll see you in 2023. Go, go Bucks! Bucks. Are you saying we'll be the hosting? Hi, I'm Callie Griffin. And I'm Lindsay Poindexter. And we'll be we we <laughs> <laughs> And we what's going on? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> third grade? No. Okay, wait. Nearly really fifteen thousand people to the ER. <laughs> <laughs> the ER. <laughs> <laughs> We're in December.
<laughs> oh, Is that was so close, you were almost, no. Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> we hope everyone has an amazing Christmas break and a happy New Year's. You did not just do that. Go